Get it, Eno. Get it, Eno. Eno! It's been a little bit of a long and dramatic story for Rivals 100 running back Eno Benjamin in terms of what led him to commit to Arizona State, but the details of that aren't as important as him stepping into that class and having an opportunity to contribute right away, in my opinion. When I look at Eno as a player, I think of a guy that runs with a fair amount of toughness and a little bit of flash, and overall I think he's going to be an ultra-productive player, especially in a Pac-12 conference that generally has some more wide-open style of play across the board. When I talked to him ahead of his commitment, he mentioned that the Sun Devils do have a couple of guys entering their senior season at running back next year, and even made mention of the fact that he wouldn't mind taking a red shirt if needed, but I don't think that's going to be the case with him. I think he's going to have an opportunity to play as a freshman, and between he and fellow Texas product Traylon Smith, who also committed to Arizona State, uh, it would probably be Smith taking that red shirt if that's going to happen. I think Eno can come in and at the very least be a third down back because he's a pretty good receiver. I've seen him at multiple events uh, heading into this season and really loved his assertiveness and desire to work back towards passes and try and make even the toughest grabs. He's also a pretty sturdy guy when you're talking about his build physically. I think he's astute enough and a hard enough worker that when you're talking about asking him to stay in there and pass block, he's going to be capable of doing that. Now, when I watched him this past week at the Army Bowl, he ran with quickness and power and maybe didn't get a ton of attention as he was splitting reps with Stephen Carr and Najee Harris, but I thought he was every bit as effective. Uh, and in the game, he was off to a good start, nearly scored on a nice run up the gut, uh, but twisted an ankle while he was getting tackled and sat out for the rest of the game, but that's understandable. Now, Eno has been one of my favorite players in the state of Texas in 2017, and I think he's going to go on to be a nice player for the next couple of seasons, especially in that Sun Devils offense.